All right, day nine. Uh, most of today's work was internal. There were a few big um, accomplishments, though, that <laughs> took most of the night. Uh, that being the uh, user interface system. Uh, so, like these buttons. Um, so we'll take a look at the first couple of screens that I have in. Just go ahead and tap them right there. Um, this one is basically just this global statistics screen. So total sums of everything that you've done in the game. So that's the screen right there. Um, then you have the drill down kind of zoom in where you get to look at stage by stage, although I haven't entered a single stage yet, so everything's locked. So the second you enter a stage, um, then it gets unlocked on the screen and it shows you what statistics you have for it. And you'll see that soon. And then this one's gonna be the leaderboards. I haven't gotten into that yet. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, enter a stage and I'll show you some of the other stuff that I worked on today. Um, I also put in this door which requires five um, diamonds to uh, open, but I don't have five, I have four. In fact, I have zero, but I cheated and gave myself four. Um, so let's go ahead and lower the water here to get into the caverns. Okay, we're going to be going for all good things, which is pink diamond. So the caverns is finally done. Um, a lot of the uh, stuff that I did today were, was like the small polish on this level. Um, one of the other cool things is uh, I put in motion blur when you uh, get damaged as a visual indicator. And it works really well. Perfect. This platforming can be a little tricky. Okay. By the way, this little thing sticking up right here is uh, your visual um, spotlight indicator. Um, as you'll see later, um, that actually comes into play. Cool. All right, so teleport it over there. Go ahead and blast some of these rocks. Uh, gems now do stuff. So, um, Ruby, well, we'll start with the weakest one. So, Citrine always did stuff. Um, Citrine, uh, restores your thruster fuel. Uh, Ruby heals you. Uh, Amethyst adds to the maximum shots that you can fire in succession. So, like, I, I got one Amethyst, so it's 22 shots instead of 20. Um, and then it just refills. And this is all just pure le per level. When you leave the level and come back, it's all reset. So it's not permanent. Um, then we have Emerald, which increases how long you can use your thruster. So that starts at the level at five. Um, and uh, then we have Sapphire, which uh, increases your ship's speed and uh, your thruster power. Let's decimate the field right here. And I'll show you the motion blur. Um, I'll, I'll get hit by one of these. There we go. Pretty neat. Oh, god, those can hit you so easily easier just to fly over them, but yeah, the motion blur thing is really fun. Looks great in virtual reality. Oh, crap. I forgot about him. Ooh, gosh. Sweet. Hit one health from being dead. Thing there in fall damage in this. Okay, so I'm just getting over to uh, the pink diamond because the fox secret is there. I want to show you the new features with um, the artifact I put in for for him. We okay, cool. 
I mean, we go through uh, this little fox creature's dialogue. Yeah, so this screen won't show you anything um, until you exit out of a stage. Right now it's all temporary. She left an artifact. It should be uh, an upgrade to that spotlight you've got in your hovercraft now, this thing. It's brighter and you'll be able to control where it points via the thumb pad. So I, I spent a lot of time trying to make the um, uh, artifacts in this game designed a couple of them so far um, as like feature uh, adding as possible so basically you you it adds to the actual gameplay mechanics so I'm gonna go ahead and click that you see this got a little brighter and now if I put my thumb on the touchpad I can aim it so that's really handy in really dark areas of levels and honestly it just looks really cool so that's a new uh, feature. All right, let's go ahead and collect a diamond. Hopefully I can get there. These citrines don't sustain you indefinitely. All right, I did. Barely, I had one second of thruster left. Okay. We got our first diamond of this video. Which puts us at five diamonds and we'd be able to go through that door. Nothing's on the other, on the side. I, I just finished it. <laughs> I try it. So uh, now we can go into the screen and see the total summation. Uh, so 38 gems collect a total you can see of what do denominations um, and now we can drill down so uh, I haven't played the first stage but I have played the second stage the caverns and it shows you the stats for that and so each what each oops uh, what each diamond represents in terms of your score um, I'm gonna put a little button up here that allows you to erase your stats so you can go for for higher scores after all, I am designing this game to be speedrunning um, intensive. Okay, let's open this boy. Cool, a door to nowhere. <laughs> This is gonna be interesting because I have it set to where you can die if you fall a certain height. Oh, okay, it just puts you back here. Okay, <laughs> that's easy enough. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, I think that's mostly it. Um, is there anything else that I put in today? No, yeah, it's all pretty much under the hood stuff. Okay, cool, see you next time. <laughs>